Hello and welcome to Songs and Stories. Today I'd like to sing the song Rise and Shine. It's a bit long because it tells the whole story of Noah's Ark. I thought about cutting it, but then we wouldn't hear the whole story. So we're going to do the whole thing. Try some of the actions. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory, children. I'm so glad to be back with you again today. Let's catch up on where we are so far in the story of Moses and the people of God. Remember, God had led the people into the wilderness to get ready to live in the land that God had promised their ancestor Abraham a long, long time before. God had freed them from slavery and taken care of them in the desert, feeding them with manna and gave them the gift of the law, which we call the 10 best ways to live, or the 10 commandments. But guess what? Even with all that, the people had a hard time trusting that God was really with them. Even Moses, God's good friend, sometimes wondered if God would continue to be faithful. There was a special tent set up a little way outside their camp. It was called the Tent of Meeting. Anyone who wanted to spend time with the Lord would go out to it. Whenever Moses went there, the people would stand at the doorways of their tents and watch him enter. When Moses went into the Tent of Meeting, a pillar of cloud would come down and cover the door of the tent and the Lord would speak to him the way two friends talk together. One day Moses was in the tent of meeting and he said to God, you promised our ancestor Abraham that your people would live in the land of Canaan, the land of milk and honey. And you've told me I'm supposed to lead the people to that land, 
but you haven't said that you would go with us. Please say you will. Don't forget, it was you who chose us to be your people. What's the plan, God? God said, I will go with you. Moses continued, don't make us leave this place if you're not planning to go with us. If you're not leading us, how will anyone know we're your people? The Lord said, Moses, I love you and I'm pleased with you. I will be with you. Then Moses asked, please, Lord, let me see you. The Lord answered, come outside, Moses. Here is a place where you can stand safe in the crevice of a rock. I won't show you my face. It would be too overpowering for you. But I will pass by the rock and cover you with my hand. Then I will take my hand away and you will see my back, but not my face. The dazzling presence of God then passed in front of him and spoke, I am the Lord full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger, and full of great love and faithfulness. Moses fell to the ground and worshiped. When Moses went down from the mountain, the people stared at him in amazement. His face was shining from being in the presence of the Lord. I wonder if you ever feel unsure of yourself. I wonder if you ever feel unsure of God. I wonder if you feel comfortable talking to God like a friend, the way Moses did. Do you remember what God said to Moses? God said, I am full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger, and full of great love and faithfulness. I think God sounds like a very good friend. Maybe you can spend some time this week with your friend, God. And I'll see you next time for our last episode of The Story of Moses. Have a wonderful week. Oh my gosh, can you imagine being visited by God and seeing God? What do you think God looks like? Is God a man or a woman? Is God young or old? Does God have a long beard or long hair? I agree with you, Lindley. I think whatever God looks like, God is a friend. And Peggy, thank you so much for that song. It was like a song and a story put together. It was so entertaining and so pretty. Well, it's time to pray. Dear God of everything, we, your children, live in a world surrounded by you. Thank you for being with us in times of need, and please help us to fix all of our uh, wrongs. We pray in your name, amen. Have a nice week. Enjoy the, the good weather.